Hello, I'm Andrew with Between Two Beards and today I have a review for the new Imperial Guard Codex. Though it is now not the Imperial Guard, it is the Astra Militarium. Uh, first look, it honestly looks a lot like the old Codex. They've changed some names and some stuff. But once I've gone, well, after going through it, I've uh, tried to pick out a lot of the stuff that seems like it's really different. And things that really stuck out to me was points costs. They've adjusted a lot of the points on things to make them more in line with what you find in other books, I, I, I assume. Uh, like the Vendetta has gone up in price. Um, still Blissey Skill 3, still has the 3 Lads, Twin Link Lads cannons, but it is now 175 points instead of 130. The Valkyrie, and it also can only carry 6 people now instead of the 10 or whatever it used to do before. The Valkyrie has gone up in points. It used to be 100 points. Now is 125 points, and it can carry 12 models. So they're trying to get people to probably use Vendettas less by upping the points cost to make it so you can't put units in it as easily. But it makes it so there's other things you can put in there. Um, they've removed stormtroopers. Stormtroopers are gone, but they've replaced them with a unit that's exactly the same, but cheaper, uh, and can be taken in a platoon format, much like the infantry platoons now. So. If you really like stormtroopers, that's really good news because now you can play kind of like a specialized guard army with, you know, heavy stormtrooper. Well, sorry, they're not called stormtroopers. They're uh, they're called like the Tempestus, uh, something like that. It's like I said, there's a lot of really weird names in here for the new stuff, like the Torox uh, tank. The Chimera is more expensive uh, because they brought the Torox out, so trying to get people to use the Torox, so they reduced. The, so the Chimera went up like 15 points or 10 points in cost, and the Torox is 50 points, I think it is. The Torox, though, has less armor. does have slightly better armament, but you don't have the extra gun arrays, the last gun arrays. You don't have, I mean, I don't know. I see some issues with the Torox, which where I'd kind of rather have my Chimeras. Plus the fact that the Torox is, really, is like a really tall model, and with terrain and stuff, it could probably be a nightmare trying to hide it if you're trying to you know, hide it and not have it blown up. So, because like the Chimera is still 12 10 10, uh, the Torox is an 11 10 10. For the most part, though, none of the other vehicles really changed. They're all the same stats, they're all the same armor values. Uh, the Lehman Russes are all the exact same still. They did get rid of all of the Basilisk variants though, which is disappointing. Uh, I, I never built any of them, but I had planned to, and it's kind of sad to see the fact that you just have the Basilisk and nothing else now. Uh, it's probably because they didn't want to re-release the Basilisk kit with new parts to make it so that you could actually use those. Though, they, this book does, I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. This book does offer new options for tank armies in the form of tank commanders, and the tank commanders are an HQ choice, so you don't have to buy another HQ. They can be your warlord, and basically you just put them in a Lehman Russ. They cannot join another squadron, they cannot leave that squadron of their own will, they're stuck in that squadron. Uh, unless they, the rest of the squadron gets blown up and then they just cruise around on their own. Uh, the tank commander Pask, he is a tank commander now, he could be your HQ. He also has been reworked some. I run a really I've been playing guard for, uh, shoot, I've been telling, I've been saying like six to seven years, but it's probably been eight years now, and I've been running Pask for, for four years maybe, of uh, Pask and an Executioner, or, yeah, no, yeah, the, I think, whatever, it's the one with the auto can. I can't remember the name of it, because the Executioner and the Exterminator, I think it's the, uh, Executioner, and you know, you against tanks, he was really good because you'd get a four twin linked strength eight uh, shots and a strength ten las cannon. Well, now he's been reworked, so I believe with the uh, second, I'm actually gonna check because I believe with that tank, he only gets like he gets to do something, and all the other special characters are still the exact, they're all here, they're just, they look like they're the same too. Um, yeah, with most with most of them, pass can reroll uh, reroll to hit, which it looks like those are all the ones with the uh, like templates. The if he has the if he has the ex, 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 exterminator, which is the auto cannon, or the Punisher Gatling tank, 
he he ha gives the, the the turret cannon gains the special rending special rule rending, which actually is not as good as plus one strength, but it's still pretty good, especially if you put him in a Punisher and he just cruises around and rends through stuff. And if he uses the ex Executioner Plasma Cannon, he has a different, he can fire a large blast um, plasma shot that also causes blinding, but it also has to get hot. So, um... He also has he also has crack shot, but like I said, still have a lot of the old other special characters in here. Um, they look like they're the same. I don't ever play with them. I play a tank heavy guard army, um, kind of parking lot, I suppose. Without a lot, of, I don't really own any basilisks. So I don't have a lot of the really good stuff that makes parking lot work. They did. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of like a basilisk variant, but it's called the wyvern, and it is. Uh, it has a new gun, and basically it's like a heavy two. Uh, temp I think it's small blast templates, but they're they're okay. They're like strength four, AP six, uh, ignore cover. They're not super hot, but it, you can make that or the uh, Hydra with the kit that they put out. Though honestly, now that they have a plastic Hydra kit, you might invest in Hydras if your game group has a lot of flyers. I've personally prefer the Aegis defense line. I found the quad gun on that works just just fine because I don't think the uh, Actually, I know I should have checked this earlier, but now now that I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of curious if they gave the Hydra's guns uh, Skyfire, um, because I mean I'm sure it does. It wouldn't make any sense to not have Skyfire, but you never know, especially since yeah, it does. It has Skyfire, but it's only a uh, heavy. It's only heavy two, so I don't know. You're getting two shots, and I don't. Doesn't say. Oh yeah, I guess they, but it is twin linked. So, anyway, so uh, trying to think of other changes. Primary psychers are so, primary psychers, the ministerium priests, and the engine seers are now zero to three choices. You can that you can buy. You they cannot count as an HQ. They take up HQ slots, but they don't count as one. They, well, you buy. I think I believe what was trying. What was looks like reading is, is that it takes up an HQ slot, but they cannot be your HQ. If I was reading it right, but you and you can buy up to three of them for each one that you buy. Uh, commissars can only be bought now as attachments to stuff. It seems like it was as well as what I was reading. Uh, Again, this is a lot of stuff I don't play with. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a bad guard player. I hate infantry guard. It's always seemed like a really boring army to me. Uh, so I play with tanks because it's a lot more fun. And yeah, their special rules section is a joke. Um, most armies have tons of special rules, or at least a spe couple special rules. Guard have like one special rule, and that is that heavy weapon teams count as one model, and they're bulky. Woo. So, uh, it looks like my battery is quickly dying for some reason, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, anyway, so, this has been, the, this has been my kind of quick review, overview, thoughts on the new Guard Codex. I know it was all over the place, but if you like what you watched, please subscribe, please comment, I'm trying to get back to you as fast as I can or as soon as I see it. Until next time, see you later.